dear students today we will continue chapter number 13 understanding quadrilaterals let's see first quadrilateral a closed figure bounded by four line segments is called quadrilateral let's see the figure a b c d is a quadrilateral and in quadrilateral from the figure in quadrilateral four vertices a b c and d now four angles angle a angle b angle c and angle d four sides a b b c c d and d a and two diagonals a c and b d are two diagonals two diagonals a c and b d and we know that the sum of all interior angles angles of a quadrilateral quadrilateral is 360 degree that is angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d is equal to 300 60 degree now types of quadrilaterals first parallelogram second trapezium third kite some special parallelograms rectangle rhombus square now we will discuss one by one a parallelogram a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel it is called parallelogram from the figure a b c d is a parallelogram in which a b is parallel to d c a b is parallel to d c and a d is parallel to b c a d is parallel to b c both pairs of opposite sides are parallel so it is called parallelogram now properties of a parallelogram the first property the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal say here from the figure ab is equal to cd that is ab is equal to cd and ad is equal to bc means the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal now the second property the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal that is angle a is equal to angle c angle a is equal to angle c and angle b is equal to angle d angle b is equal to angle d now third property the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other means ac and bd are two diagonals bisect each other means oa is equal to oc oa is equal to oc and ob is equal to od ob is equal to od now fourth property the adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary that is angle abc angle abc plus angle bcd angle bcd is equal to 180 degree angle bcd angle bcd plus angle cda angle cda 
is equal to 180 degree angle CDA angle CDA plus angle DAB angle DAB is equal to 180 degree and angle DAB angle DAB plus angle ABC angle ABC is equal to 180 degree that is angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degree angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degree angle D plus angle A is equal to 180 degree so we can say that the adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary let's see few question from exercise 13.2 Question number two first, find the values of x, y and z. From the figure, ABCD is a parallelogram. That is, AB is parallel to DC and AD is parallel to BC. So, we have to find the value of x, y and z. So, first of all, we can write here y is equal to 120 degree. Since AB is parallel to DC, AB is parallel to DC and BC is a transversal transversal so Y is equal to 120 degree 120 degree by corresponding angles corresponding angles now angle y is equal to angle z angle y is equal to z is equal to 120 degree since we know that opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal now we have to find x we know that x plus y is equal to 180 degree because the adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary so the value x is plus x plus y the value of y is equal to 120 degree is equal to 180 degree so x is equal to 180 degree minus 120 degree so x is equal to 60 degree so x is equal to 60 degree y is equal to 120 degree and z is equal to 120 degree that is answer let's see one more question question number 8 in the figure ABCD and PQRS are parallelograms find the value of X say here from the figure ABCD is a parallelogram and PQRS is also a parallelogram we have to find the value of X so first of all we have to find angle a B C first of all we have to find angle A B C now in parallelogram A B C D angle A plus angle A B C is equal to 180 degree we know that adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary so angle A is given 120 degree so 120 degree plus angle A B C is equal to 180 degree so angle A B C is equal to 180 degree minus 120 degree so we have 60 degree 
so angle B is equal to 60 degree. Now again we have to find angle QPS, angle QPS in parallelogram PQRS. So angle QPS is equal to angle R, angle R is equal to 50 degree. We know that opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So angle P is equal to 50 degree. Now, now in triangle POB, angle POB plus angle QP BPO we can write here BPO BPO plus angle OBP is equal to 180 degree we know that angles angle sum property of a triangle now angle POB here given X X plus angle BPO BPO is 50 degree plus angle OBP angle OBP is given 60 degree is equal to 180 degree so X is equal to 180 degree minus 110 degree so X is equal to 70 degree that is answer rectangle if one angle of a parallelogram is right angle then it is called a rectangle from the figure abcd is a parallelogram abcd is a parallelogram in which angle a is equal to 90 degree then it is called rectangle now since every rectangle is a parallelogram, therefore uh, it has all property of a parallelogram. And additional property the diagonals of a rectangle are equal, that is from the figure diagonals of a rectangle are equal. AC and BD are two diagonals and both are equal. So AC is equal to BD and bisect each other, that is OA is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD. Now rhombus. If two adjacent sides of a parallelogram are equal then it is called a rhombus. Let's see the figure ABCD is a parallelogram. ABCD is a parallelogram and two adjacent sides AB is equal to BC AB is equal to BC then it is called rhombus now every rhombus is a parallelogram therefore it has all property of a parallelogram now additional property the diagonals of a rhombus intersect at right angles that is from the figure that is angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. So we can say that angle AOB is equal to angle BOC is equal to angle COD is equal to angle DOA is 90 degree. That is the diagonals of a rhombus intersect at right angles. Now square. If one angle of a rhombus is right angle then it is called a square. Let's see the figure. A, B, C, D is a rhombus means all four sides are equal and one angle is 90 degree. So, A, B, C, D is a rhombus and angle A is equal to 90 degree. Then it is called a square. Now, Additional property, the diagonals of a square are equal. 
the diagonals of a square are equal that is ac and bd both are equal that is ac and bd both are equal and bisect each other and bisect each other that is oa is equal to oc and ob is equal to od at right angles that is angle aob is 90 degree and angle aob is equal to angle boc is equal to angle cod is equal to angle doa is equal to 90 degree right angle let's see one more question question number 7 in the figure abcd is a rectangle if angle ceb is to angle ecb is equal to 3 is to 2 find first angle ceb second angle dcf so here first of all abcd is a rectangle so angle b is equal to 90 degree and angle ceb angle ceb is to angle ecb ecb is given 3 is to 2 so we assume 3x and angle ecb we assume 2x so in triangle bce in triangle bce 3x plus 2x plus angle b is equal to 90 degree it is is equal to 180 degree by angle sum property of a triangle now 5x is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree so x is equal to 90 degree divided by 5 so x is equal to 18 now we have to find angle CEB CEB angle CEB is equal to 3x we assume so 3 is multiplied by 18 degrees so we have 54 degree so 3x is equal to 54 degree now that is the first answer now we have to find angle ECB angle ECB is equal to 2x so 2 is multiplied by 18 degree so we have 36 degree now we have to find second angle DCF angle DCF DCF so first of all we have to find angle ECD so angle ECD angle ECD is equal to angle CEB angle CEB is equal to 54 degree because AB is parallel to DC and FE is a transversal so alternate interior angles 54 degree now ECF is a straight line so 54 plus angle DCF angle DCF is equal to 180 degree so angle DCF is equal to 180 degree minus 54 degree so angle DCF is equal to 126 degree that is second answer thank you